Hi everyone, it's Peter Schiff. It is Wednesday, October 14th, 2009. Well, you're going to hear a lot of talk today uh, on television about the Dow moving above 10,000. It was up about 140 points today. And I'm sure the talking heads are going to try to spin this into why uh, this shows that the economy is turning around, uh, that the stimulus is working, or that maybe the health care uh, plan that is making its way through the Senate is not as bad as people think. And so the market is ratifying uh, the strengthening economy uh, by moving above 10,000. Of course, this is nonsense. Uh, the market is going up, no question about that, but it's not going up uh, because of underlying improvement in the U.S. economy. In fact, it's going up despite the fact that the underlying fundamentals are getting worse for the U.S. economy. What we have is inflation. And sure, the Dow is going up, but that's because we're measuring it in U.S. dollars that are going down. The dollar was clobbered again today. The dollar index closed at a new 52-week low. We're now trading below 75.50 in the dollar index. All the major currencies were up today against the dollar. Gold and silver took a breather. They were basically flat, but they've made significant gains in the last few trading days. So this is really about an inflation story. Look at the price of oil. Crude oil closed above $75 a barrel. I think it's actually just broken out of some overhead resistance. If you look at a chart of crude oil, I think the next stop is about $90 a barrel. Uh, so if people are happy about the Dow going up, they also have to be happy about oil prices going up and about the price of just about everything else going up. Of course, I think once uh, Wall Street comes to terms with the, the true state of our economy, then even some of these nominal gains in stock prices will likely, will likely turn, you know, turn, turn down and the market will resume its descent, which will be particularly problematic when the Dow is actually falling in value and the dollar is falling too. You know, the relationship that we have right now where the stock market goes up and the dollar goes down really historically doesn't have a precedent, and it's not a good thing. If you look at bull markets of the past, legitimate bull markets, when the stock market is strong, the dollar is strong. The fact that the stock market is going up with a weak dollar tells you something. It tells you that there's something wrong with this rally, that it's not about the strength of our economy, but actually about the weakness of our economy and people fearing inflation. And I know people keep saying, well, how can we have inflation? You know, the economy is still weak. There's still a lot of unemployment. Look at the article I put on my website uh, uh, yesterday about Iceland. You know, Iceland is having GDP is declining by about 8% right now, but unemployment is rising. It's not actually as bad as it is here yet, but it's close. But inflation is running at 11%. And the reason it's running at 11% is because the Icelandic kroner is losing value just like the dollar. So for people who say you can't have a weakening economy and accelerating inflation at the same time, all they have to do is look at Iceland for an example. And of course, Iceland is not the only example. It's, it's, it's the rule, not the exception. Most countries that have high unemployment also have high inflation and, and vice versa. You know, it's, un, it's the unfortunate uh, reality, the unfortunate consequence of all the bad monetary and fiscal policy that the dollar has to go down at this point. It's not a good thing. You know, it's just like if somebody is that you know doesn't study, uh, skips class. Uh, the consequence is that maybe they're going to flunk their course. It's not a good thing. But if they didn't want to flunk the course, they should have studied. Uh, they should have paid attention in class. There was an op-ed today in the Financial Times that I read, uh, talking about the fact that the U.S. dollar has to go down. We should welcome that decline and that it's a good thing. Uh, I agree that it has to go down. But I don't think it's a good thing. As I said, it's just a reality. It's an unfortunate consequence of what we've done. The problem is the policies that we're pursuing now is sure that the dollar will not stop falling. Unfortunately, the dollar has to go down, but it doesn't have to continue to fall. We need the dollar to fall and then sustain itself at a lower level and one day rise again. But that's not going to happen if we keep printing money, if we keep interest rates so low. And if foreign central banks keep propping up the dollar, it's delaying this imbalance. They need to allow it to happen, but we need to do our part of the bargain. We just can't keep inflating. We have to rein these costs in. You know, when people are trying to say that this, uh, the rally is also a positive endorsement of the fact that you have this health care plan moving through the Senate now, uh, I don't think it's that people think it's a good thing. Again, I think more people understand that if the U.S. government is going to extend health insurance to millions of Americans that don't have it, it's going to cost a lot of money, and they're going to pay for it by creating the money out of thin air. They're going to pay for all the extra health care with inflation. 
And so that's, again, why the dollar is falling. That's why commodity prices are rising. And that's the reason that the Dow Jones is above 10,000 today, not because of any underlying improvement in the U.S. economy. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back again soon. Take care, everybody.